drag racing is a dangerous sport here in South Florida, or really anywhere. Well, a racetrack was constructed in West Miami Dade to help curb accidents and provide an outlet for teens' need for speed. Well, today, Medley police took part in these drag races to make sure everyone's playing safe. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live out at the track. Janine. Hope you're playing safe out there. Well, Charles, you know, Medley police officers aren't just keeping everyone safe. They're also participating. They have three different types of cars that they have souped up. They got a Chevy Camaro, a Nova, and a Crown Vic. In fact, one of them just participated. Right now, two other cars are drag racing right now, but it's all part of a program called Beat the Heat. If you break loose, you start spinning, get out of it. It's not how fast you are, it's how consistent you are. Yeah. Drag racing is all about control, a little creative engineering, and beating the other guy. But the reality is, for years, teenagers have raced illegally on the street. The street racing out there is out of control. Back in the day, but now that since the track's been here. The track is the new county line dragway where racers can peel out without getting pulled over. But what if you could not only not get in trouble, but actually race a cop? Here at the track? Uh -huh. Oh, that Payback. <laughs> if I had the chance to race the cops, I would love it and I would uh, talk about it until I'm dead. Well, starting today, a team of Medley police officers is offering racers a chance to beat the heat. Which is a national nonprofit organization in an attempt to try to reduce the uh, incidence of street racing, drag racing, all those illegal activities that are very dangerous for all the kids. Don't be fooled. These officers have a need for speed, too. They want to let racers know they're not the bad guys. They just want everyone to be safe. And yeah, they want to win. I think we'll do okay, but if we lose, it's okay. We just want to get people out here. So right now, as you can see, we have two cars are, that are getting ready to race. For a fee of about 20 bucks, you can come out here and participate once a week. But once a month, police officers will be out here, and you can have your chance to race them. Now, there are only three of them, but a lot of people that are drag racing. So you have to take your turn. In fact, what they're trying to do is they're trying to hook it up so that you can actually decide how fast your car is versus how fast their cars are, and then they can match them up so you have a good race. But take another look behind me here. You can see those two cars are just just about to race. They're getting ready to peel off. I don't know. It looks pretty close. Looks like the white car's got him. Oh, but he's spinning out. Uh-oh. Again, though, the great thing about this thing out here in West Miami-Dade is that it is a controlled environment. It's safer than racing on the streets, and that is definitely the goal that uh, Medley Police are trying to instill for everybody here. Charles? Well, the good news there, Janine, what just happened with that driver in that white Mustang actually happened there and not on a major highway with other drivers. I th think that underlines the entire point they're trying to make. Also, if you win, you beat the cops, you get some pretty significant bragging rights. Janine Stanwood, live medley. Thank you, Janine. national nonprofit organization that they do it all over the country in an effort to get the kids to stop street racing and bring it to the track where it's safe. So this is something that we're getting the kids off the road and they're coming here to do it over here at the drag race. So it's something very good and something that we've been uh, working on for many years and thank God we're able to establish it now. The Pita Heat is, is one of the ways that our police officers can connect with other people that like to the sport of uh, racing cars, drag racing. And they basically could come out on a safe course in a, in a safe environment and be able to challenge them to a race. It's a chance to beat a police officer in a race. So it, it's a really cool thing. It's done it with a very great family environment. Anybody qualifies, all you have to do is show up, you present us with the driver's license as long as you're over 18 and you sign a small waiver and you're free to welcome, you're welcome to a race against us. There's a statistics that about 50% has gone down in uh, street racing because they're coming over here to do it. So, I mean, if we can save one life, like I said, it's, it's something great.
know if it would have happened on the streets, it would have been a lot worse. Here, thank God, I had a guardrail. There was no one else around. Uh, there was medical attention right, on, right away. Nothing happened to me, so it's definitely not worth it. Um, you never know what could happen. And you know, if you're gonna race, if you're really into the sport, you should come and do it in a place like this where it's safe. If anything happens, you know, you're allowed, you have to wear a helmet, uh, there's protection. Stay in the school, stay off drugs, don't drink and drive, and more importantly, don't race on the streets. As much as what we do here, there's still going to be people out there that are still going to illegally drag race regardless, you know, and unfortunately we can't, we're not going to be able to eliminate all of it, you know. What we try to do here is try to show them that this is the place that it's supposed to be at. This is a really good event, especially for young guys, young kids that want to race. I mean, it, it's a way for them to avoid having to race on the streets, avoiding accidents. It's a more safer, controlled area. You can see the success of the program. Uh, this is my daughter, she's 18 years old, and today she's racing here safely instead of being racing on the street and pulling her life and all the kids' lives in danger. Let me just tell you, it's an adrenaline rush. It's awesome. You know you're doing something safe and good for the community, and you're still having a great time. Happy Commissioner, you're going to see what's going to come out. <laughs> I don't see that you're going down. <laughs> This is this is not a win and lose. This is it's for the sports and to bring out the people here and and we can see the line of the people and the youth here. So that's our goal. That's my goal, the commission's goal, to get the kids off the street and for them to come here and race in a safe environment. Commission, I want to thank you, man. We're getting the challenge. Actually, Mayor, I want to thank you, you and your team, the police officers, your whole. I mean, you had you had everybody out here. This is the right leadership because we're teaching our our kids. And not, and not so much kids, but people that go out and do their sport on the street. This is a safe place, it's the right environment. And uh, kick my butt there a couple of no, times. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, I love you. Know, it's all good. <laughs> and we did a good. This is great. It's a great sport. And when you do it in an environment like this, like we saw earlier once again, our Corvette lost it. But you know what? At the end of the day, it was in a safe environment. Nobody got hurt. And everybody enjoys this sport. And Absolutely. hopefully we keep the kids uh, interested and keep them off the streets. Absolutely. Good job, man. Good job, man. I love you, man. <laughs> Me too. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank the Bentley Police Department. I want to thank the council. I want to thank my administration for making this a, a, a great event and a great achievement. Thank you all. And uh, remember, come out here for the races. And I challenge each youth to come out here and enjoy the races with us. And, uh, and also other politicians, I challenge them, come out here, we're going to have a great time. We're going to have a, a good time with the people here, with the youth. And remember, we're touching lives here, so come out and join us. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Flaps set.